Hello and welcome to more Silver 06. I just recorded this entire episode and I, once again, I don't know how I keep managing to do this, but I was on preview and not recording. I, I specifically check to make sure that I'm recording because of that, what happened that one time. So I have no clue how this slipped by me again. It is just ridiculous that it even happened, but I didn't save the game this time. We're good. So, I can just go ahead and play this again. I don't have to play the entire game a second time. But, I guess we're gonna go through this cutscene, so this won't be my first reactions, but whatever, guys. So, he pulls out a crystal. I don't know where he was keeping that, though. Whoa! The sun is forever. Who... Who entrusted that to the family, though? What? Is it... Is he asking the son to sleep with his daughter? I didn't even think of that the first time, but he's like legitimately asking the eternal son to sleep with his daughter. And... Uh... Yo, I kinda dig her outfit though, it's completely orange. I want a completely orange outfit. I do actually have a pretty, pretty suave uh, orange vest. But I haven't really worn it that much. Hmm. I'm sorry, but can you take her to a safe place? Sure, I can do that. Wait, why is he... I'm missing something. Why is he, like, dying? And he has barcodes on his gloves for some reason. That's a good girl, Elise. Bro, she's not a dog. Remember, be brave. Don't cry. I, sir, I don't know if you can tell, but she's kind of unconscious. She can't hear a dang thing you're saying. These sound like some very important words. Maybe you'd want to say them to her while she can hear you. I'm just saying. Oh, is that why she doesn't cry? You don't tell me what to do. You don't control my life just because you're my dad. Er, son, you dead. I do what I want. Or maybe I'm just going to take a nap here. What are you looking at, Silver? You, bro, don't stab with your nose. What am I fighting for? Hmm? Hey, what up, Shadow? Did yeah, just chilling here with this girl this here. You got the Book of Darkness, do you? I guess we're good to go back to yeah. our time zone. The flames are properly sealed. I want you guys, it's I was not able to point this out last time because it kind of just happened, but I want you guys to keep an eye on Shadow's nose. In one of the upcoming shots, it's a little strange. And of course, Silver is like, yo, a safe place. We'll just set her right outside the building against this tree. That'll be safe. Can you guys think of anywhere more safe than right outside of the building where all this crud just happened? Why? Why are you so obsessed with that thing? Oh, he's just going to leave it behind. Never mind. And it's got like a little little smiley face on it. That's cool. Leave it behind? Yes. Yeah. Look I at his nose. Look at it. It just like future. randomly twitches. Why does his nose do that there? It's time to return. Return. Yes, of course. Yeah. We're going to have a bro moment. We'll just uh, let her Chaos take her beauty sleep here. I'm sure that tree will serve as a good pillow. Not a single bad thing is going to happen out here. We're kind of near a forest. I'm sure there's not going to be any bears or anything like that. The game designers did not have time to make bears, so we'll, we'll be fine. All right. Oh. Um, sorry, Elise. Your dad's kind of dead. And I'm leaving you. But hey, you have the sun inside your belly, so you'll be fine. Oh, here. Just you, you can have my Chaos Emerald. Just, uh... I'll just leave this right here. TAKE THIS! It's a lucky charm. Just, just don't eat it. It's not cereal. Look at the shadows on her face. They're all blocky and crud. Oh, they looked okay there, but... When that shot first started, it was like all blocky. Alright. I don't know, Sylvia, you might want to go before that portal closes. There you go. I'm not sure if you made it just in the nick of time, or if the portal 
closes once the last person goes through it. I don't know how that works. Whoa. Hello? Oh, hey, Blaze. We're, we're Shadow. Blaze. What did you see? I've seen some things, man. I saw the a girl dragon. wearing full orange. Sonic the Hedgehog. I want it. All oh, right. Sonic's not the Iblis Trigger. Huh? They're quite noisy. Why can we suddenly hear them when we couldn't yes. before? I Did they just the now start talking? For Dr. Eggman's base in response to his earlier threat. Right, right. What if his ultimate objective was to release Iblis? How do you even know Iblis is a bad thing? I mean, Mephilus is the one who told you about Iblis, right? So if if Mephilus was lying about who the Iblis trigger was, why do we not question if Iblis is even a threat at all? I guess maybe it's because Silver and Sonic kind of saw the whole Iblis and Mephilus thing firsthand. That's the only explanation I can think of, but anyways, let's go do side quest! Which I think this is actually a required quest. I kind of skipped the first dialogue, but he says, I'm sorry, but can you take Anna somewhere safe? I'm good at taking people to safe places. You should have seen what I do with the lease. Hey. There are only a few enemies near the entrance to the forest. Carefully escort Anna there, please! There we go. This is just a basic escort mission here, guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and point out that Elise and Anna, kind of similar to Elsa and Anna, but do with that information what you will. All we have to do here is kill a bunch of enemies and keep Anna alive, which is very easy. All we're doing is taking her over to Suliana Forest. Kind of strange that we took we took Elise outside and put her next to a tree, and now we're escorting Anna to a safe place, place which happens to be a forest. Keep moving, lady. Faster, please. I can't push her to make her go faster. Dang it. I guess I'll go up ahead and try to kill some things here. Let me just get some ammo. Okay, I've got my two barrels. Come here, buddy. Oh! Ooh, yeah. Ow. That guy's got his own Psycho Shock, it looks like. My Psycho Shock is stronger, though. Oh, jeez. Well, if we take down this red one, it should kill the rest. Boom! And, of course, enemies had to spawn on the bridge, but she just pushed them aside. I don't think she even needs me to protect her. She just pushed the stuff herself. Okay. Uh, there we are. Come on, Anna. She's like, bro, you need to come with me. It's kind of awkward when a escort mission character is complaining that you're the slow one. Uh, can I pick this up? Yes! Cool. There is so many enemies right here. Just so you guys know, since I've already recorded this, I already know what we're going to be doing, and this entire episode is going to be blue quest and cutscenes, because there is a lot of it. Oh my gosh. And a lot of it's just killing stuff, but that's exciting, right? I mean, some of these cutscenes are pretty, pretty good, so you guys are all in for a treat. I am not, because I have to play this gosh dang crud a second time. Uh, oh jeez. Got some lag going on here. Come here, Mr. Yellow. Oh. And also, I have to play even more of this game because I have to record a whole bunch of footage for Shadow 06's uh, Glitch Fest. So that's going to be a total blast. It's not going to be a Sonic 3D blast, but it, it'll be a blast. Come on, Anna. We just have one more guy here. And these guys are actually a lot easier than they might look. You just kind of Psycho Shock them. Or maybe not. I thought you could have Psycho Shocked them. Can I smack him in the face? There we go. Smack him. Just drop him in the water. He did. And that's it for the enemies here. Now we just have to wait for her being very slow. And I love, dude, over here, okay, we have all of these people, all of these guards, just waiting for me. Why were the guards not helping me escort them? I don't even know. Well, let's see what kind of rank we got. Oh, I guess we had to get next to her once she was in this spot. Hey, thank you very much for protecting Anna! Great! Great! So our score was... 29,000, that will be an A rank, very Looks close like to an I'm S rank. I'm guessing that I probably needed a few more rings, because the time bonus, I, I think I was doing fine time-wise. Alright, let's just go inside the forest, not even gonna bother talking to that guy. We have a loading screen for us to walk five steps and then go into another loading screen. And now that we're in the forest here, guys, because I've already done this, because I failed a recording, I already know exactly where I have to go, and it is on the other side of this entire zone, so I'll just meet you guys over there. 
Otherwise, you're just going to see me walking for like two minutes. So yes, what we have to do is another one of these things where we have the three side quests in a row. It's not that bad, aside from the fact that there is, gosh dang, a million loading screens. Ugh, oh, jeez. The first trial is the trial of friendship. Are you ready? We will begin the first trial. Okay. This is your first test, the test of friendship. Show with your actions how much you value your friends. Here we go. Yep. More loading screens. And here we have another combat section. Fantastic. Oh, we got these big worm guys. And now that we know we can actually just throw them, makes it a lot easier here. Bada boom. Where'd he go? Oh, he went underground. I don't, I don't know if you can psychoshock them while they're underground there. Does not look like it. But he'll just pop back up. Shock him, throw him. Very easy. Silver is fantastic at taking care of those guys. And over here, we got a whole swarm of enemies. If I could actually hit them, that'd be great. Instead of hitting nothing. Oh, because they're purple, they take a couple more hits here. Although, you could just pick them up. Let me just swap these guys. Yeah. Pick one up. Throw out the other one. Bam! These boxes. Got all kinds of options here. Ah. Okay. You know, let's go throw the purple guys. I think that'd be the best choice right now. They do some weird jump attack there. There you go. Can I pick you up? Thank you. Use their bullets against them. Get some distance here, I guess. I can't seem to throw them very accurately when there's when they're too close to me. Haha, throw purple guys at things. Is that it? This is the last guy. We done here? We're not done here, are we? Nope, of course not. Got a whole bunch of purple worms here. I want to try to throw these at the big guys, not the worms. It's the worms you can still pick up, even though they're the purple kind now. You can still just walk up and pick them up. Uh, where are they? I guess they're over on this side now. Come here. There you go. Don't you run away from me? Did I actually kill the one guy? Oh, jeez. I'm guessing once you, if you get them knocked back like that, you can probably stun the big guys as well and then take them down. But the big guys are not as easy to deal with as the worms. Still pretty easy, though. Let's get this guy. Oh, great. If the worms would stop dodging, that'd be fantastic as well. Uh, nope, they have a shield. Even when they're kind of reeling back like that. And let's just get up, get up there. Smack him. Yeah. That's it. We're done here. I think we have to go and touch Blaze, and we're completely done. You seem to value your friends. Keep it up on the next test. So we've already had, what is that, three, four? We're going to have like five loading screens just from this one guy here. Maybe it was only four. I don't know. Got a rank C, though. I think I got a A rank last time, so I don't know how I did so bad this time on my second try. All right, let's go do the second test. Oh, boy. This one is a doozy. The second trial is the trial of memory. This trial will gauge your determination. Are you ready? We will begin the second trial. I think you guys are going to love this one. This is the second test, the test of memory. Let's see how good your memory is. I'll ask you three questions from your past. If you can answer them, you will pass. So here's where things get stupid, guys. We talk to the guy and he gives us a question. First question, what comes to mind with the words future, inferno, and ruined city? If you think mission, go right. If you think escape, go left. So what we have to do is try to answer the question. In this case, I'm going to go right, because that's the correct answer. But every question, we have a gosh dang loading screen. Uh, another guy. Next question, what comes to mind with the words Flemish disaster seal and 10 years ago? Princess Elise, go right, Blaze, go left. We go right. And we go through another loading screen. Hey, mister. I want to talk to you. Last question, what comes to mind with the words blue hedgehog? For hatred, go right, teamwork, go left. We go left. And we're getting another long screen. I have seen into your heart. You have banished all doubt from your mind. However, looking back in the past may be what has claimed calmed the wavering of your heart. Keep your heart and mind strong as you proceed to the next battle. Now, one thing I need to mention, guys, is if you fail the mission, you have to go back through like three or four loading screens just to get back into the mission. And then all of the loading screens again for each question that you have to repeat. So you could very well have to do like five or six extra loading screens just because you missed it. And I got the D. I, I don't know how to get a good score on that one. Maybe you just have to go super fast or find some rings somewhere. I don't know. Now let's go and do the final trial. This is the final trial. This is the trial of heart. Let us begin. This is your third test, the test of heart. This is about battling the fears deep inside you. You need to battle the enemy without using any objects. Considering the number of loading screens and the boringness of these of these trials, I'm sure you guys can imagine why exactly I'm kind of disappointed or frustrated that I have to play this a second time. Why in the crud can I not just remember to actually hit the record button? 
How does that manage to slip by me again after how big of a deal it was last time? Having to replay all of Sonic's story and a big portion of Shadows. If I, if I actually saved the game there, I would have had to repeat all of Shadows, uh, Sonic's story, all of Shadows, and a huge chunk of Silvers, because while you don't have to play through Shadows' story to unlock uh, Silvers, I would have to, I'm pretty sure, if I wanted to actually get the final story, so that would have sucked a lot. I mean a lot, dude. That would have, wow, that would have just ruined everything. That's a lot of bolts here. Bam, 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 bam! Give me those bullets. Yeah, I got a few of them at least. Bam, 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 bam! Oh, jeez. I'm having a hard time not getting hit here. Come on, shock him. Shock him! There we go. Pick him up. Throw him at the other guy. Double kill! Let's see, these guys, I think I can psycho shock them. No? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Homing missiles! And that's pretty much all this entire mission is. We have just tons and tons of combat. You can see all the enemies on my mini-map there. They just keep coming. So we're going to be here for a while. I got a good score last time, actually. But let's hope I can do the same this time. Actually, I don't, I don't actually care if I get a good score or not. I don't know why I'm acting like I do. I don't want to have no rings, though. Just, you know, I'm not even going to throw the guys. I'm just going to pick them up and drop them again. And, wow, they blew my rings everywhere. Can I shock him? No, he's got his shield up. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, I just can't avoid everything here. This is too much. And my attack range is abysmal, man. Just atrocious. There we go. Uh, let's go get those rings over there, just in case. Because they kind of exploded my other rings everywhere. Pick you up, throw you. That wasn't enough to kill him, so why even bother? Ooh. Just a couple more big guys, and I think we're almost done here. We just keep swiping, keep swiping. Eventually this has got to work, right? Yes! Ah, the rings, come on guys. Just be nice to me or something. I wish I could actually, you know, throw the guys at the other guys. But I guess every time I happen to get a successful throw, I throw at a guy that has too much HP anyways, so... Oh well. But we're done! Finally! You have faced your fears and overcome the test. You have proved yourself worthy of the royal family. The route is open. Go to the old castle. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I just had to record this entire sequence twice. Oh man. I hope you guys have somehow pulled some amount of enjoyment from this. And I'll see you next time. Take care. That was